Hey, welcome back to another episode in my kitchen. I hope everybody's had a great Christmas. So, the situation I'm confronted with, I've got two curries to make, each for two people, so in total four portions, and I want to do it in a hurry. So the, the following videos are going to be um, a seasoned corn piece or soya piece curry, and we're going to be making a potato cauliflower and pea curry. So I want to make a really quick sauce but for each of the curries all the seasoning and the spices are going to be totally different so you get something unique from something universal. So we've got a large bulb of garlic here, we've got a two inch piece of ginger cut up, both rough because we're going to be blending these. I've got five nice red vine tomatoes, the ripest tomatoes you can find and I've got about four or five medium red onions. So let's get cooking. So a nice large pan on. This is a wok style. So the beauty of this recipe is that I don't have to cook everything from scratch twice and it still remains true and authentic and no substitute on flavour. So let's just wait for that to heat up. That's nice and hot. I'm going to add about five tablespoons of seasoned oil but use any oil you want and first of all let's just saute the onion as as um, as soon as that's happened about 60% I'm going to be adding the ginger and the garlic so don't cut up anything too small so I'm using red onions because they're sweeter with less water content and I've cut them quite thin so the trick is now to saute them really well, cut them all quite uniform so they all cook the same, nothing's burning on the outside and that type of thing. So we'll come back in about seven minutes. So I would be saying salt to taste, but I'm adding just a teaspoon of salt just to help the water come out of those onions, just to help them cook evenly. So that's been about six or seven minutes. Next, I'm adding the ginger and notice how it's cut up rustically. It's not really a problem to singe the ginger, but the garlic is a big no-no. Anybody that's uh, bitten into a curry where the um, garlic's overdone, it just is irreversibly terrible. Uh, so the garlic's cut up nice and big. Onions are 60% done, so we need to do that now another five minutes we'll come back so remember to give it a stir frequently and make sure nothing's on the sides it'll burn and basically all we want to do now you see the garlic has no fear of burning it's still cut up big enough so the whole bunch of ingredients can stand the heat so in the meantime I chopped my tomatoes <laughs> and they've got liquid in them as you can see so I'm just going to fry this down now until the garlic is just starting to toast and then I'm going to come back and we're going to add the tomatoes. So that's just how I want it. Can you see the garlic? Let's get a close up. Looks like braised tofu doesn't it? That's just how I want it. Now we're putting those liquidy nice ripened tomatoes with the seeds and the skin and Anybody that knows about my channel knows it's all about cooking the raw flavours out. So you can use tin tomatoes, you can use passata, whatever you want. But the main thing now is just to cook the rawness out of the tomatoes and make sure it's nice and blended. So the frying has stopped. Now we're coming down to the, like, the boiling part. So we'll come back when that's ready to blend. So I get it nice and hot. I've maintained the highest heat on the cooker ever since the offset. You just want those tomatoes to disintegrate. What I am going to do is add a teaspoon and a half of good quality paprika and some tomato puree just to give it an additional boost and colour. And I must say my subscribers have dropped down significant. I know a lot of the videos are repetitive, but 
They've dropped down maybe 40% in the last few months. It's not going to be long if this keeps up before you're going to be left with the spoon scrapers. You know the aluminium spoon scraper videos? That's all you're going to get. So try and help the channel out. Share it. Recommend it. Really appreciate it. Each one, teach one. And um, anyway, we'll come back in a couple of moments. Because that's starting to sizzle really nicely. The oil's starting to appear around the outside. So you know you're nearly done when you get these little long parts of uh, tomato skin and you can basically uh, guarantee that ensures um, your tomatoes are disintegrated. So there goes my one and a half teaspoons of paprika. It's just a habit that I've really got into lately. I just think it adds to the texture, the luxury and the nice natural colour of the sauce. I'm going to give that a good stir. If you're making this and it starts to dry out, just add a little bit of water. Not a problem. We'll come back in a moment. So there we go. We've got some concentrated paste, fresh tomatoes, onion, fresh ginger, garlic, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon and a half of paprika, and probably a tablespoon of tomato puree with some oil. And it's good to go. So I'm just going to blend that into a really smooth paste. There's no point prolonging the video, it's gone long enough. Um, and the thumbnail is what it looks like when it's been done. And do stay tuned for the next apologies to all you carnivores, but the next two vegetarian balties that I'm going to be making. Happy New Year.